guys and welcome back to Photoshop Pro. My name's Fran and this is a retouching tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. In today's episode I'm going to teach you how to create rain from scratch to add in your images. So let's get started. So the image that I've got here is quite dark in tone which will help enhance the rain. If yours isn't dark then I'd suggest maybe turning down the brightness um, or creating a levels adjustment which just helps uh, to bring the darkness down and the tone uh, to create more of a moody feel as if it was raining in real life. So once you've done that you want to create a new layer so you just come down here create a new layer. You're going to go to edit, fill and fill with black then click OK. Then you go to filter and convert for smart filters. This will help us later when we need to make any amends to the image. Click OK. Then you go to filter, noise, add noise. And I usually start at 25%. Then I'm going to click on Gaussian and monochromatic as well. Make sure that's ticked. Click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the canvas a little bit of the noise layer. Click OK. I'm going to go to filter, blur and motion blur. If we just zoom in a little bit here we can see what's happening. Um, let's go for maybe a hundred pixels. Maybe go for a 40% angle. I'm going to go for something like that click OK. Now because these are in smart filters we can always change them later so if I double click on motion blur it'll bring up the dialog box again. And then I'm going to go to image, adjustments and levels and I'm going to make the blacks darker and the whites lighter so you should be able to see more of an enhanced rain look. So you literally just keep dragging these until you're happy. So you want to drag the white point further to the left and the dark point further to the right. So if we just zoom in on the image here you can see the rain really taking shape there. Probably go for something like that. Click OK. And then if I just change the blending mode so we can actually see the rain layer on top of our image, you want to change that to screen. So if I just zoom in here, you can see it starting to take shape here. And you can always change the motion blur. So if I maybe go for 50 pixels, you'll get more rain. Probably go back to 100 actually. Click OK. And I'm going to duplicate that layer, so Command J. And I'm probably going to change the angle and the pixels. So maybe I'll go for 120 pixels and change the angle to uh, maybe 50. Just so that all the rain isn't all in one direction. Click OK. I'm quite happy with that. It works especially well in the darker areas as you can see up here. Um, I might even make it even lighter. So I'm going to push the highlights to the left a little bit. Maybe go for something like that. Click OK. And I might even adjust the brightness and decrease that a little bit. So something like that. So if I just click Alt on this little eye icon here, you can actually see the before and after, which is pretty cool. And what you can do as well, you can save, if you go back to normal on blending mode, you can save these layers and use them in your imagery in the future so you don't have to keep doing the same technique over and over again. You can just save these as layers, drop them onto your image and change the blending modes to screen which is really really awesome. And that's just a very very quick way of creating rain in Photoshop. Obviously sometimes it's not going to be as realistic. You might have to add in little splashes um, and create more 
um, elements and use Photoshop brushes just to bring the whole thing together and make it look a bit more realistic. But if you've got an image like this where you don't see splashes, um, then it can work really, really well for like landscapes and cityscapes and images which have um, a wider kind of um, real estate, if you like. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm so sorry that I've been away for so long, but I am back now and I'm really excited to bring you some awesome tutorials in the future. I've been working really hard with After Effects to bring you more production values into my videos, so I really, really do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to thumb up the video. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's completely free and you'll be notified about my latest videos. You can follow me on Instagram at Photoshop Fran, Twitter at Photoshop Pro, and I've also got a Facebook group as well, which is Photoshop Pro UK. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.